Hello, good day. My name is Prince Yemi Kasali. Today we'll be talking about this um, awesome um, robot that helps us trade futures and how it wonderfully delivered um, a, an awesome percentage for me uh, this morning while I woke up. So I all I need to do is um, to go to the profit. Um, this is a test run account and I want you to see what came up this morning. As I woke up, I found um, three points, um, $35 in my account. And this account is only having $60, um, $60 um, trade uh, capital. Okay, um, it has now grown to 67. But the last time when I update, uh, update as an um added more fun it was 60 dollars and i think that was about um two three days ago about three four days ago um so and uh, it's awesome <laughs> that's how, how how awesome um trading is especially with you trading now um let me show you this um okay that's that but the most important thing the most awesome thing is that this trade um came up with a five dollars um um trade it came up with a five dollars trade i'll show you this okay um this is algo and that is what brought the trade uh algo is what bought the trade uh presently it is running on a 14 dollars um trade and this 14 dollars trade is based on 20 um uh 20 leverage so as in 20x uh leverage so what does that mean let's do the calc okay uh where is my calculator my calculator okay uh, okay so 14 uh 14 divided by 20 so that is 0 0.7 um 0 0.7 dollars so that simply means this amount of money um what we are talking about is um three point something dollars uh probably three point three something dollars it was generated from a 0 0.7 usdt uh, <laughs> so which simply means if i only added 0 0.7 usdt uh this would have brought in 3.3 dollars today and what's that percentage 3.3 uh what's that percentage what's that percentage that is far beyond um <laughs> okay let's do this 500 uh percent of um of um of um 0 0.7 so wow 500 percent wow awesome 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 okay uh let's confirm this further to see uh the trade uh, the way it came in i i didn't really say um uh, okay you must generate three point something dollars so we did something okay uh this trade okay uh look at this this is algo all true okay i'll go all true and um it's it delivers all through the night okay okay i only said this to give me uh i only said this to give me one percent and it was doing that all night okay now let's check this this is take profit um take profit and this is um um this is um 20 stored okay so 20 told 20 told okay um this was purchased this was bought opening uh-huh this was also bought opening but this was 22 and this was also 22 so 20 told start from here it took profit here okay that's one then it buys again two it buys again three okay it buys again four it buys again five it buys again six it buys again seven it buys again eight it buys again nine <laughs> it buys again ten it buys again eleven it buys again twelve it buys again thirteen then 14 14 but the 14 is matic okay 1.9 is matic okay um okay this is um uh this is 14 for argo okay 14 uh 15 16 17 18 awesome 19 <laughs> 20 21 22 wow 
it purchases 22 times and out of those 22 times that the robot was selling it is only one other coin that sells at that time and that coin gave me one zero point one something so out of the three point um three point three there about um just 0.1 is out of it so he gave me 3.2 uh, dollars just a, uh, just by itself 22 times 22 times what does this simply mean it simply means uh that you need to look into the two strategies that we are look we are doing in the system and what are the two strategies let me go back there okay let me check the profit again to be sure uh 3.35 okay so that means 3.2 uh five was what argo brought in so our trade um let's check running trades where i have um one two three four five six six trades on just six dollars <laughs> and somebody will like say oh this is just too much yes it is too much but it is not too much this is about mathematics number one is uh this is resting this is resting and even when they are running, they are running on um, a 20, uh, I, I think um, I run this on 20x, I run this on 20x, and um, apart from being 20x, um, I put it on, um, I put it on the 10, I put it on the $20 trade on 20x, is that true? Um, no, 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 I put it on a $10 trade on 20x. And what does that simply mean? $10 trade on 20x, that simply means $0.5 is what is trading for these days and this. So although I have purchased um, two more on these when it um, goes against me. So um, that's that then. On this one, I'm trading um, uh, 10, $14 right now, but I booked in $10. And the $10 uh, that I booked in is on 20x. So that simply means almost everything is running on $0.5. Um, so that's that. But another thing I just want to let you know that we have two strategies. One is to place a coin on long and let it keep going long because we feel we are in a bull run. You understand? Then another one is to allow the system to pick your trade. Apart from the proper money management, go and check my videos on proper money management. So what did I do? One, two, three. Um, I leave the system to decide which you know trend this coin is going. Then what did I do again? Then I trade one, two, three on pure long. Um, number one is I know BNB is going to grow when btc grows ethereum must grow when btc grows and we know that btc will grow then argo is also a coin that i know will definitely grow you understand now what's the lesson here the lesson here is to treat some set of coin and be consistent with them why did i say this if you're jumping all around you will not know when a particular coin will do a great movement all coins will do great movements at a particular time which is almost unknown to anyone you understand but when you focus on one coin that you believe or some set of coins that you believe in you will not be able to miss their massive growth for example if i have six coins here just um, um matic um delivers you understand just matic delivers once while algo delivers 20 times 22 times so if I wasn't trading Algo at this time and I was trading all other coins, I might not see this movement. But that doesn't mean Ethereum will not do its own, but it might not be on the same day Algo will do its own. It might not be even on the same in the same month. Ada will do his own one day, but it might not be the same day as when Algo will do, and it might not be the same month. So if I uh, if I wasn't here, I won't participate. And assuming I had um, $100 trade going on here, probably 1% of $100 would have given me $1. $1 in 22 places would have given me $22 instead of 3 point something dollars. So that is why it is the number one lesson here is make sure you have your coins that you're trading and stay with them. 
believed in them, stay with them. One day they will surprise you. It might take three months, four months, five months, but one day they will surprise you. When you're jumping up and down, you would miss the massive thing. You will go and join when it is massive and see what happened now. And another lesson is proper money management. Now, it did 22 movement and it came down. And it came down. That when I checked this morning, it was 8 point something percent down. That means minus 8 point something. So my strategy on these um, three coins, one, sorry, uh, one, um, two, and three, is that I'll follow them up is that i'll follow them up i follow them down i follow them up again i follow them down i follow them up what am i trying to say is this if you're not careful as it takes you up it will bring you down so i knew that whatever go up in crypto will come down in crypto so that is it because it's a wave movement now the logic is this what i did in my settings here go and watch my video on the settings is that i put it on long because i feel we are in a bull run and it's gonna move to probably next year so i leave it there but i knew that inside the bull run there will be deep so what i did is i tried to play along and this particular trade i think this particular trade is costing me um the time we calculated this is 0 0.7 dollars and remember i have 60 dollars i'm not trading with one dollar because if i'm trading with one one dollar already six um, percent is gone and i want to trade a liquidity free if this coin would liquidate that simply means that if this trade liquidates it simply means algo goes back to zero i have done my calculation and made sure that this because i know that it will come down then i have to trade a a, a, a risk-free trade now what am i insinuating here is this so what i now did is i'll follow a coin up as it is going up and when it comes down to 20 percent deep minus 20 percent deep i'll buy two more and when I buy two more, instead of 20% deep, this will take it to about um, minus 6% deep. When I buy extra two, it will take it to minus 6%. So when it comes up to minus 6%, it takes my profit again. I will start from there. So what am I insinuating is this. When I follow it up, I follow it down again. Then probably when it goes up it comes down this way so then when i buy two more it will be somewhere around here about one third of 20 percent so it will be somewhere around here so that will be about 6.6 percent .6%. so when it tries to move up here again we we restart our journey from here uh, back up again then when it comes down i join him here i wait for him here then we start all over again so that's how awesome it is and if it keeps going down again i'll try and look for more fun and put it into the game and make sure i keep playing the game uh, the way uh, uh the way the game plays itself what i'm trying to say is i'm not particular about um trying to look for signals here i know the fundamental story tells us we are in a bull run because there's uh, btc alphine and the psychological thing about it is everybody is coming in now because they want to take advantage of it so that simply means we will be on a bull run so but in the bull run i know there's going to be a depreciation i know the coin is going to go down so what did i do i try and make sure i strategize myself to make sure i follow it's down if it ever goes down if you need my video on that explanation um, i'll try and drop it on the comment below i hardly do that uh, I, I hardly do that but i will do it now i think it's i should be more matured with my uh, youtube page now so i should be more organized with my youtube page now i just do my teaching and let it go but this time around i'll try and drop it there uh, this is the 
third time I will be saying I'll be dropping something and I'm not dropping. <laughs> don't mind me, but this time around, comment on comment if I don't drop it and try and comment also if I do and thank me for it. I don't usually tell people to uh, like like share <laughs> but do like and share this will help a lot thank you very much my name remains prince Amin kasali i hope this is awesome so what are the lessons in this video number one is try and pick your coin so that you will not miss um you will not miss uh, uh movement you know strange and rapid movement because there will always be a different movement you know all coins are going up no doubt but a particular coin will go up than other coins and every coin has its own timing when they will always do a different uh stunts ahead of others so when you stay with a coin you'll be able to pick when that movement will come so you'll not be missing if you're jumping up and down just jumping up and down with signals you'll not be able to get that so that's it that's number one number two is if you're doing this make sure you form a good strategy that will help you uh hold and be in control when that coin dips back again because it will definitely dip back but it will not go as deep as it used to but even if it does um drive a strategy that will make you be in charge thank you very much love you bye Okay, in continuity of this video, I want to show you something, and that is why I keep talking about proper money management. Proper money management. Let's take you to the trade of Argo uh, that we've been talking about. As you can see here, um, Argo is um, it's um, four uh, four point six uh, four point six four. Uh, percent deep and i'm still having um 1.32 us dollars in deep now let's look at it um this is now 60 uh, 38 dollars trade but actually i was trading around um, 11 dollars thereabouts i think i've forgotten i think it is um but let's divide this by three you see what i'm trading with and you'll see that is correct now that is um that is um 38.15 uh, divided by three okay 38 uh 38.15 divided by three so i was trading about 12.71 dollars then um uh, it got to a stage whereby the system has to buy two more times and that is why i keep saying that we need to understand when the system should buy if i had purchased more of the coins when it was minus seven it was still go deep when i purchase it when it is minus um 10 it will still go deep and so on so uh but at minus 20 i'm okay unless it goes more deep then i buy uh probably uh more in future so that is why the formula is um keep buying uh only buy when it is minus 20 percent dips because you want to take it very very down before you buy more so when i buy two more uh that means i buy times two of what i bought the early uh, at the earlier stage it gave me four point something percent and it gave me four point something percent and now it is still going down uh, and it is minus five uh percent so that is why i said when you're trading and you're trading in cycle when you're trading in cycle it keeps going you buy it you know take profit buy take profit buy take profit buy take profit buy it will eventually go back to deep so you have to prepare for that deep don't trade with all your capital manage your fund properly so that you can buy more in the deep and now instead of waiting for um minus 20 percent deep i'll have to start i'll have to wait for minus four percent or probably minus five percent deep so instead of waiting here i'll be waiting here for the coin to get back and give me my profit then we'll trade back up then probably ahead of this then we'll go down again together we come up together and so on so you need to understand this proper money management the mentality is the most important thing not 
get rich quick, not getting your profit on time. You know, I told you um, that this had given me um, three percent, uh, three dollars today, and that is it gave me about five hundred percent of what I traded with um 500x of what i traded with but i would be stupid to have traded with all my money now i could have got liquidated so i need to trade with as little as i can uh probably uh two percent one percent of your capital and wait again when it goes very deep you buy more it goes very 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 deep you buy more but don't buy earlier don't buy like three percent deep uh, when you're trading in cycles unless you are so sure of your signal don't buy when it is even minus five percent deep and probably try as much as possible to be sure before you buy it at minus 10 percent deep i will wait for minus 20 percent deep i have done it this way it doesn't work and i felt like okay uh let me just do it here even when it goes from minus 10 to probably minus five back and so on i will not be in a hurry i'll only buy and you know buy when it is minus 20 percent deep and that is going to be automated thank you very much I uh, hope this is, um, I hope you learn a lot from this tutorial. Thank you. God bless.